All right, so so we've been we've been narrowing our focus, right? You know, uh, down to a specific controller, right? To to see if we can if we can what what we're, what we're trying to do is trying to isolate uh, the controller so that you know it has the as minimum dependencies as as possible, so that it behaves as much as possible like it's just a function, right? Like the functions you've been testing in the in the in this prior sprint, right? Uh, you give it some values, some input values, and you see what the output is. Right? You just call a function, and and the calculate the algorithm just churns through that input, and then it gives an output. And we just want to verify to see that the that the output is what we were expecting. We would like to be able to do exactly the same thing with the controllers, but the controllers have this all additional uh, dependencies. Right? It needs a it needs to be running on a server. It needs to it needs to have be connected to a database. Again, we would we're we're focusing and removing all these dependencies as we go. Let's focus on removing the dependency of services. Right? And, uh, usually a controller will depend on you know, a repository, it will depend on things that provide it data. Right? A controller usually uh, you know, has a, uh, the only thing that a controller does is that it maps some incoming URL to some executable. Right? And then that executable typically depends on a whole bunch of other services that provided data. The, the, the control by itself doesn't have any data, right? It has to do a find all or a, or a find by ID or whatever, right? It needs to go fetch some data to do to run its algorithm. So we need to we need to isolate right the controller so that it doesn't depend on any of these services. So let's see how we do that. Yeah, I should have said that all that here. Uh, so the way we're going to do that is by by using an additional uh, an additional uh, um, annotation called mock bean. So mock bean will allow us to uh, to take um, a data source, something that provides the data source, and it's going to allow us to wrap it around a, a something that can simulate its behavior. Right? It can it can simulate that uh, um, and, and configure that if this service. You know, it has to go out to a database and go fetch all this data from somewhere else, right? If the function is this that you're calling that it would do all that, right? I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to say no. If you call that function instead of having it to go out to a database or go out anywhere else, I'm going to configure it so that it, it's going to return this specific value, right? This is the value you would have gotten if you would have gotten gone to the database and gone out to all that all those other places, right? So mock. Mod being allows us to separate, you know, these these layers, right, and and uh, and mock it so that we can provide some some test data. So let's create a, a toy uh, service, right? Uh, let's see, we have a, a greeting controller, uh, and uh, and notice that it's uh, we we are injecting here, and we're doing inversion of control. We could have used auto wired, auto wired would have worked, and. Here instead we are we are using inversion of control where this function is being invoked with an instance of the service. So somebody's invoking it and providing an instance here, uh, and then we're just storing it in a, in a local variable. Uh, this would have been identical if we would have said just here auto wired, right? and then we would not need the, the 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 constructor. Anyway, we get a we get a we get a, uh, a reference to a service, and the service, you know, this will play the role of our Repository, right? Where the repository has create, update, delete, find all, find by ID, provides data, right? So this service provides data, right? And here we're using it. We're saying that if we see slash greeting, we're going to go out to the service and we're going to go fetch some data, right? We're going to go fetch some data and then we're going to return that data. Yes? Most of our controllers look like that, yes? Uh, so the problem that we're trying to solve is that this greed function might need to go out to a database right? and we want to we want to stop that we want to be able to test this this code without having to follow the implementation of fetching that data from the from the database so how do we do that here's a simple uh, here's an implementation of the greeting service the only thing that it's doing is that it's returning a string that's all it does right but you know we could certainly imagine that this could be using a repository going out to a database and fetching stuff right Let's not go there just yet. Right now, it's just returning a simple string. We want to sever these two. Yes? So you say that this class 
classifies currently right now for the rest of our education? It is. So do we have to split with the textbook? Or we don't. Do we have to make sure we don't. You don't have to split with it. But it's a good practice. Okay. So, so uh, one of the things that I, I would like to have to ask you is to, uh, so up to this point, the architecture that we've been using is that we've been using a controller to play two roles, right? We play the role of the um, uh, mapping between the world of the HTTP world and the Java world, right? And also as the data access of going out to the repository and fetching it, right? The problem with that architecture is that uh, the data access is only available through HTTP, right? And, any, and no one else in the application, right? Uh, but in a, in a bigger application, more commonly, you would have other folks who would like to also access uh, this data, right? Without necessarily being an HTTP request. Right? So, so other other folks in the in the application. So to allow this, typically what what uh, what we do is to split the those two roles. Uh, one of the, the a specific role is mapping the HTTP world and the Java world, and then another one is the data access, right? And so so typically we we have not just two layers where you have the H the HTTP controller and the and the and the repository, you would have a, a, a third layer in between that would that would mitigate um, between these two between between these two layers. So HTTP con uh, converts from HTTP to Java, uses a, the the service layer to actually access the data. This allows other folks to call the service that are not necessarily HTTP. Make sense, All right? So so from now on, we'll 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 follow this uh, this design pattern, and this example follows this design pattern. Thank you. Uh, okay, so here it is. Here is the, uh, the example that we, we mentioned earlier. Here's where the, com the, uh, the configuration allows us to say, hey, you know that service green that, uh, that the controller is going to call, right? That, that call, the service.green, uh, sorry, greet. I want to configure it so that if anybody calls that function, this is what they're going to get. You know, hello mock, all right, all right. And here's where we're severing, we're severing the communication between the between the controller and the service layer, because now when we when we do the mock perform the get, right, which before you know would have actually called that get greeting, then we immediately get this value hello mock without actually going out to that to that uh, service, okay. Um, and and we can we can you know run the same test that we had earlier. We can check that it's okay and that the that the response would, was uh, actually what we'd expect it, right? And this allows us to execute the controller without the controller needing go, to go out and fetch all this data because we are providing it here. Make sense? So we have in effect isolated the controller right, from any dependencies that are outside of that controller. Make sense? All right, so, so this, this we're going to be doing, you know, uh, this for all the controls that we have so far, right? To to increase its uh, its uh, the the um, uh, the code coverage.